2019 marks the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. The victory that set in motion the end of World War II. Last week, five local World War II veterans returned to the beaches of Normandy for the first time. These are their stories. When I get involved in something like this, uh, I've always shed a lot of tears. So it was hit me pretty hard. Something I'll never forget. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. No matter how long it may take us, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. Took 30 days to uh, get to Italy, I left the States on the 13th and landed in the 13th of October in Italy. Then we, uh, next thing was uh, casino, lost half our platoon there. Half our company was gone there, my, most of my platoon. When you just went up every mountain there, that's all it was for those two years, one more mountain. <laughs> we'd get up so far and then the artillery would blast the top and when they started racing, we'd go up to the top and get there before the Germans come out of their dugouts. And so we kept on going for two years. Please welcome 96-year-old World War II veteran, Don Halverson. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the Great Crusade. The eyes of the world are upon you. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. They had that uh, beachhead pretty well covered with pillboxes and, and machine guns. As they were coming through, they were killing our guys pretty fast. I feel like I'm the luckiest man to be here today. I should have died many times. Please welcome 96-year-old Army veteran Fred Applebacher. What kind of a people do they think we are? Is it possible they do not realize that we shall never cease to persevere against them? We were at the height of of doing counter espionage, uh, dropping spies behind the lines. We flew below 500 feet at night, all alone, no fighter escort, no nothing. Uh, when we left the base, uh, radio silence. Nobody knew where we were except our navigator. In case we crashed, we couldn't give any information out if we were interrogated by the Germans. Please welcome 93-year-old veteran, Robert Holmstrom. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. I flew a uh, four-engine B-17 flying, they call it a flying fortress. I had 34 missions. I had three missions, I think, and one engine was knocked out. And I had numerous black holes in the plane when they, when they came back. Please welcome 101 year old World War II veteran, William Pat.
when we uh, we dropped our bombs and we were way out of on Germany when we ran out of oxygen, and we had uh, some carry around bottles of oxygen in the airplane, so we we shared uh, oxygen bottles with one other person until we were out of Germany and we could go to lower altitude. Please welcome 95-year-old Army veteran James Rasmussen. Yesterday morning at 2.41 a.m., the representative of the German High Command signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe. I have received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. Please join us as we salute these military heroes and all the brave men and women who have fought to preserve our freedom. service members for your service to our country.